you guys know, I can't come to Crossville, Tennessee without stopping by the United Grocery Outlet store. Packs of Oreo cookies right inside the door, $2.99 for a family pack. That's pretty good. Gatorade at $1.69. Do they still have the Kroger sale where you can buy 10? Save 10? I'm not sure. Evaporated milk, $1.53. I have got to get some condensed milk. I tried that recipe that person told me for the coffee creamer and I absolutely love it. I do have to use it and refrigerate it, but the can of the can of condensed milk I can put on my shelf. I guess this is a decent deal. They are $1.49 for the utility lighters. Charcoal is $3.99. What is coming up? Fourth of July is coming up, I guess. Now this seems a little bit high because I know you can get these in Dollar Tree. It's a pack of 10 foam plates for $1.79. Tomato ketchup holding steady at $1. Barbecue sauce, $2.19. Ooh, and thank you for the last viewer who tell me where to get that barbecue sauce, Dollar Tree. Definitely. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen Dollar Chips in so long. So the cassava assorted chips are $1. They have smoked barbecue and... <gasps> salt and black pepper i'm excited so there are 12 in a box i love both of these flavors and the date on these not that i care much but i do look if i'm going to buy this many january of 2024 i think it's an amazing sale a dollar 99 for this package of savory Chex mix 8.57 ounces and it's very heavy pretzels dollar 75 dollar 99 granola seeds a dollar no they're 50 cents marked down at 50 cents i have a varied and smaller bag of chex mix for just one dollar i need these okay so we got a chikuri board as a wedding gift and these crackers look pretty good i'm going to pick up two this is absolutely adorable this is ketchup in a little jar isn't it absolutely beautiful it's so cute i'm a little bit more practical than that but not even a dollar no they're 79 cents okay so i think i'm very glad that my family stocked up on this crisco in the here last time because i think it was three something it's now 429 which still isn't a bad deal because it's a name brand mustard still holding at one dollar probably seen me pick these up before but they're still 33 cents i'm gonna pick up a case there's 12 in there which means it's three dollars chipotle peppers are 50 cents let me debate how many's in there oh that's a pretty good oh it's not really one two three four five six six dollars gotta get some of these just one flat this time hotel here is a dollar 99 and what's the cheese whiz two dollars oh be still my beating heart is this right olives one dollar oh green pitted olives well the sign is right here and these are black pitted olives the green olives are down this way so dollar 39 is how many ounces it doesn't say i said six ounces and these are seven ounces oh that would be these I don't think I've tried these before. I don't want to. If I've not tried them and lived my life without them, I'm probably okay without them. I do stock up on these though, and these are $1. Oh, definitely a flat of these. Okay, so it looks like I'm buying a whole lot, but the, the chips are the bulk of the cart. I just kept the boxes. What I love about these olives most is that they are $1. The box does show, as well as the cans, may 2023 yeah that's next month but these cans are in immaculate condition they last beyond that i probably have some in my pantry that are closer to expiration than that so definitely picking these up that's only 12 bucks but i use olives like once a month so guess what if i use them twice a month even sometimes it's going to last me at least six months okay so checking over in the meat section um up here we've got how do you say that beef scat steak eleven dollars and four cents for this package is 6.99 a pound see what a steak goes for these days all right so a top sirloin steak is six dollars and 99 cents a pound this package is seven dollars and 83 cents okay so let's check out a different one let's look at this one 5.99 a pound for the sirloin tip char broiled steaks 6.47 for this package hey at least two people could get a steak um this pack same thing 
677 for the package. So three people could have a piece of beef. Okay, so this is still pretty good. I got my last ones from Sam's Club and I'm still working through those. It's 9.25 pounds and each pound is $3.59, so it's $33.21. It does appear to be, these, it is 73% meat, 27% fat. Then if you're making a meatloaf, that's great. The leaner stuff does cost a little bit more, not by much more, 20 cents a pound more. Now it's still $73.27, that is definitely the better deal. This is $3.79 a pound, and this was $3.59 a pound. Same thing, that just looks more like what you're used to seeing. I haven't seen a whole rotisserie, not rotisserie, what do you call those things where you can slice your own deli meat? Like, do you see where they're packaging them now? So $4.99 a pound, this package is $4.24. I liked it better when they had the whole ones you get sliced it. It was really, really good. Okay, I am making my round. This is a different store, but very same setup so much to find my beef tenderloin you have no idea because that's what i'll eat for the next entire week we're getting to chicken i think i might have missed it let me double back and try the other way okay problem i'm not even finding the beef like these are pork chicken 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 i see beef ribs i don't see beef ribs i see chicken i don't know what to do so I got help from an employee that says they don't have any, but they can get them. And if I call a week in advance, they can actually get them in for me. So he's going to get the card so I can call. This store is amazing, cheap and friendly. Okay, so I'm pulling over and he gave me a card. I'm going to stick that in my purse for future use. And that is wonderful. Okay, absolutely amazing. This guy is so stinking nice. You probably knew this. He said a cheaper option because... The tenderloin is like $22 a pound. If you buy the whole T-bone and then ask them to bone it for you, I have to write it down in my box so I remember, they will actually do that and it comes up to like $11 per pound. You can't ask for a better place to shop. I love these jars of fruit, but I can very seldom afford them right now. They're $1.79, so I'll pass until they go on sale. Cans of pineapple tidbits are just $1. Pineapple and light syrup, $1.19. And check the basic like peas. Peas are 69 cents for Libby's. Tomato, this is kind of like the Rotel, I think. Yes, it is. They are, I can't find a price, $1. Other tomato products are $1. So white sweet corn with poblano peppers, $1.99. I love that they have so much when they get it in. But the thing is, you have to buy it when you see it because when you come back, it may not be there. The lime juice is $1.99. I'm not sure if that's good or not, but I do think that's cheaper than trying to buy lime right now. I'm heading back to the refried bean section. We wanted the vegetarian, and apparently these are still the ones with chili and lime. And all the stores are not the same, and sometimes, you know, I guess they would sell out. But I came back just to make sure I wasn't overlooking them, and I am not so... I guess the next time I take the family on a trip, which will probably be sometime at the end of next month, I'm not sure he can get some then if they still have them. I'm gonna shop really quickly. I am so impressed. That guy found a whole T-bone and he's gonna debone it for me. That way I get like the steaks with it and all that other stuff or whatever. He's absolutely amazing. Like I said, ah, if I lived here, oh my goodness. I wouldn't shop anywhere else, but then I wouldn't have to bulk up like this easy either. This is really hard to do. It's kind of costly, but it saves me so much money. I'm just looking at this. $1.29, they should be a dollar. Okay, so tomato soup, super huge cans, $3.99. Oh, here we are. These are my soups. So the Campbell, Campbell's Chunky is $2.49, which is on point. Did they have Progresso? No, they just have the Campbell's Chunky, which is my favorite. Oh no, these are $1.99, so they're priced differently depending on what you buy in $2.49. And it could be possibly the date that they base it on as well. Because that's 2024. And that's $1.99. So, I mean, still, that's really good. So he was so kind, he found it. It was going to come to $373. But I was going to get a bunch of, like, steaks and filet mignons and the beef tenderloin, which is going to be about six pounds and all that, but it's going to come to $379. So if I just got the beef tenderloin because he could cut it and sell the other parts, it was going to be 173 So I see where the price is cheaper if you purchase it 
buy the big, big piece of me. But I need more freezer space. Okay, so I stopped here because I thought they only had Campbell's Chunky, but nope, they do have Progresso at $1.49 per can. Oh my goodness, I am so excited. I have been looking for these every time I come to an outlet store and I'm kind of disappointed in the flavors they have, but they're um, Idahoan Hardy. You guys know what the um, Bear Creek is. And they're like seven ounces, but they're $1.79. So they come out to just under what a Bear Creek package size is and just under the amount, but it's just me. So this is perfect. They only have cheddar broccoli, but you know what? I'm gonna pick up some of these because I love cheddar broccoli. Is this supposed to be like spam? I'm not really sure, but it's $2.99 a can for the luncheon meat. A can of roast beef and gravy is $3.99. Now this is cute. It's a smaller can of luncheon meat and it's only $1.29. I am checking out the canned tuna again. Again, it's in vegetable oil. I do need some in water. I have plenty in oil. And it is still $9.99, which is a really good deal, considering it's still well within its best buy date. But I do wish they would carry, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's a smaller can. It's $13.99. It's Elvacore, of course. Um, Bumblebee in water. Debating, debating. I have some of that water. I'm gonna hold off and I'm probably going to regret it later. I'm heading back because, yes, we did get these last time and it was just that neat. And at first I did not like it because it was so salty. It's $1.29. But after eating it, I realized I had to eat some fresh veggies with it to kind of like tame it down. I'm actually gonna grab this can. And again, well within its date, uh, March, 2024. I would have picked up the other can, but it was quite dented and I just didn't want to go through that. So I'll just stick with the one. If it's dented, I feel obligated to eat it right away. Let me see, what are the Vienna sausages here? Um, I don't see prices, which is unusual. Let me find one and let you know. Found it, they are 79 cents a can. Pretty good, these are half price now, and that's the cinnamon roll truffles um, for baking. They were $2.49, they're now $1.25 on sale this week. So that would be, are these? They look like white macadamia nuts, but not quite. Okay, no, you know what? That's a little bit too different for me. I'll stick with milk chocolate chips. I will check out the coconut milk, 179. Now, since I just showed these, I did have to go ahead and pull them down. Let me see, peppermint hot cocoa. These are not regular chocolate chip morsels, but they are 2.49 a pack. Okay, I think I found it. Sweet and condensed milk. $1.99, it was $2.29. Let's check the date. Again, I don't mind, but that determines how much I'm willing to pay for it. Um, I cannot afford a whole flat. There is an extremely enormous amount in these. That is not in the budget, so I'm just gonna get about six of these to keep me going for a while. Here, I'm also gonna pick up some of these. Now, these are called something, um, La Leche, they're by Nestle, whatever it is, but they have them, and I've seen them in Publix, and it's very similar to this, and this is Sweet and Condensed Creamer. Um, I bought some, but I've not tried them yet, so I'm going to also pick up six of these. These have been marked down to half price, and that's the Fruity Fun Granola Bars. I don't know that I want fruit in my granola bars. I don't know, but things change. They were $1.49, they're now $0.79. Cents. I wonder if that has to do with expiration date. It does. No, not really. Yeah, it does. They are a past date. They're still fine, but it was January 23, so that's why they're half off. And their cereal bars are $2.19, not half off. Now I did see at a different part of the store that they have they have a sale 50% off of their already discount prices. So I can't wait to get back to around there. Okay, so their seasoning section has increased a lot. Let me check and see if I can find that ranch seasoning they had last time from the other store. That's when we were in Fort Payne, Alabama. I don't see it now. But they have picked up on their spices. They have everything bagel now, which is I've not tried it, um, that's not it, it's this one. And a lot of people seem to like it. The last time we went, I did pick up two of those because they were a dollar. I'm gonna try them on some things. If I like them, I will stock up on them. This is so good. A giant, enormous size of, um, well, the family size is $3.99. At first I thought it was this huge box right here, the giant, giant, but it is $4.99 and it is within date, so. 
not a bad deal on this cereal, but again, you can often beat those with buy one, get one freeze. And again, they have a discount up front, and I'm thinking it's because the date is about to hit $2.99 for Cinnamon Sugar Krispies. Apple Jacks, Apple Jacks are good. Let's see, $4.49. Pam Cooking Spray, the large can, two pack, $5.99, making them just $3 each. That's really good. Now the olive oil Crisco is $1.99, I think it is. This is a huge roll of sausage for $5.99. It's three pounds. All right, these, I'm finishing them up $1.49. They are so good. I think I got mine when they were $1.49. I don't think I got them at the dollar. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna also check for turkey bacon while I'm here just because, and oh my goodness, wait, I think I already, nope, nope, nope. That looks too good to be turkey bacon. But I'll circle back around and check. Now, some people have to have a certain type of coffee. I got my preferences, but not always. But these K cups, twelve, two dollars and ninety nine cents. When you go to Walmart, to like seven, stuff like that. If you go to, you know, Walmart, of course, they're close, like four forty seven for a twelve count. That's ridiculous. Community coffee, ten count, two ninety nine as well. Still community, but private heritage blend, two dollars and ninety nine cents. Huge community, twenty four count of K cups, is five dollars and ninety nine cents. Here's the section I was talking about. Select name brand cereals, 50% off. They're already discounted price. I know someone who would absolutely love these Apple Jacks. So when my brother and I were growing up, we got to pick one cereal a week or a month or whatever. This says June 2023. They are $1.99. Have mercy. You saw me just look at those in the back back there, and it was ridiculous. I'm going to pick him up some cereal and see what kind he likes. Actually, no, I'm just going to buy it and surprise. No, I better call first. Because if he doesn't eat this, even for $2, that makes it a waste. I am so glad my brother told me he wanted some of these because I did not read that. And I'm sure you didn't. You were probably screaming at me, but I didn't hear it. These are kavasa chips. Those are the things that look like turnips or potatoes or whatever, but they're not. I thought they were potato chips. I'm so going to pass on this. I was going to buy two. Nope. I put those back down there where they belong. So swinging by there, I decided to go have and pick up one of these two. I like honeycombs. They have about the sweet, same sweetness level, so I'm pretty good with that. But I'm excited because I want to see if they have my detergent down this way. I'll let you know. Okay, I see no dishwashing detergent whatsoever. I am hoping I am in the wrong aisle. Let me go an aisle over, just to be sure. Okay, I'm rounding the aisle and. Oh my goodness, no. Maybe they just put it in a different place. Oh, this is so disheartening. Ooh, something fell all by itself. Okay, they don't have it. Well, I'm glad I got what I got when I did. This is quite interesting. Garlic bologna for us. It's a bologna, huh, bologna? 50 cents a pack. Oh, it's a smaller pack too though, so I'm not sure how great of a deal that is. Now I'm looking at this, actually acting as a means thing. I don't see a price on this of all time. There's a price, hold on. So it's smoked $3.99, guys. This thing is huge, it's 2.25 pounds. That's definitely a good deal. The Velveeta is $2.99. Guys, I got that cheese last time and I was so excited about finding a for I think 99 cents. I can't remember, whatever. It has a great taste and it's gonna sound just, oh, but it does not melt. String cheese, $3.49. So if you saw me buy that, don't buy it. Unless you don't care if it melts or not. Fruit cups, 50 cents. That's kind of high. The milk, I guess, is decently priced at $3.89. I've paid that for it before. Five pound bags of potatoes, of the Idaho potatoes, $3.99. 10 pound bag, $5.99. Let's see what's over here. $4.25 for the red potatoes, and that's a five pound bag. Grand's biscuits, 12 count, $2.49. I am so tempted because I'm out, but uh, I have no freezer space. But you know what? I wonder if I can eat those in a couple of days. I didn't get my beef tenderloins. I'm getting Grand's biscuits. Same as the other store. This store has the 20 country sausage and biscuits for $9.99. 24 country. Sausage patties, where's the price? $10.99. Ooh, Kashi waffles, $1.99. Okay, so I'm looking down the aisles. It looks like we're missing a freezer or refrigerator section. Something's off with all the cakes. What did I miss? Have they rearranged? 
Oh no, they're here, but just not as many. So the meringues, okay, are $2.99. Five dollars for a square? No, no, no. I liked when they had the huge cakes and they made them just everything was four ninety nine or three ninety nine. They do have the Sarah Lee pound cake. That's good. I'm gonna check on that. Pecan pies for three ninety nine. Yes, I'm so glad I made a call home on this one. I've got an order for ten or twelve of the Sarah Lee. You know what? We all have freezers. Well, my brother's getting one, so that's gonna help him. This is what you do when you don't have a lot of money or don't want to. Just because you have money doesn't mean you have to spend it the way they want you to spend it. Do you know what these cheesecakes cost in a regular store? It's ridiculous. So she's stocking up. These will last her Can through the, the next two holidays. Amazing. My cart is filling back up again. It turns out 12 cheesecakes, <laughs> not cheesecakes, pound cakes is a case. So she'll be very, very, very happy. So spread out overall, we're, we're doing our thing. Oh my goodness, I see turkey, bacon. Let's see if we see a $1.99 anywhere. We were seeing $2.99, $2.99, $2.99. Let me make a call and see if they want me to pick some up. Before I do, I have to check this out. This cannot be right. This sandwich, I don't know if you can tell by my hand, is huge. It's a Tyson Southern Style Chicken Sandwich. And that says they're a dollar each. And they're $12 a case, which means they're 12 sandwiches this big in each one. I'm not going to eat those. It's cheaper than the drive-thru, but you know what? No because I just bought Grand's Biscuits and I have chicken and sausage at home. So, plus no freezer space. Never mind, I just chucked myself out of it. But for a case of these sandwiches, $12. I do like coming over in the candy section and buying things by cases when they have a really good deal. So the cases are $2.79, that's a little bit high. I did see something for a dollar and there's something, there they are, Sour Patch. It's a very small bag, I thought it was a little bit bigger, $1. Their gum is 50 cents per pack. And the Sour Patch boxes are 89 cents. Here's the frozen meat section. And I think they're just kind of putting here, you kind of guess, because right there says chicken wings. These aren't necessarily chicken wings. There are chicken wings here. They're 11 dollars a big bag. And they look like they're, oh, they are spicy, I can tell. They have a bunch of those. And then they have, oh, this is a good one. These look like unseasoned wings and they're $9.99 for the packet. That's really good. Oh wait, here's that beef that everyone, is this the right one, grass fed? Well, it looks like it, but it's not quite the name brand. It's $5.99. And over here we have um, beef livers. I've never had livers of any kind, beef or chicken, but they are $2.19 a pound. So $1.53 for this pack, it's just under a pound. It says flounder, but it's not. We have crab legs and they are $15.99 a pound. <clears throat> so this package would actually cost $25.10. We did get perks last time I was here. I only made a couple of fillets. They were pretty good, but I didn't know really what to do with them. But for all intents and purposes, they were pretty good and filling. $10.99 per this per bag. Going around. These are kind of cute. I don't know what kind of pieces these are. I'm not going to try to say, but they have the rising crust. And they have garden veggie supreme. They have hot honey cheese. But they are just, wait a minute. They're $1.50. Ew. Hot honey cheese. Why can't they just have plain cheese? Duck on it. They're killing me. Hot cheddar seasoned crust. Garden veggie supreme. For $1.50, if it's all veggie, I'm going to go for it. And if I get sick, I'll let you know. Okay, this is crazy. So I must be the only one out of the loop because I told my brother, I called him on something else and he wanted to try because we are going to try this um, veggie pizza. I like veggie pizzas. I like trying new things. He's going to try five. I'm only going to try one. I'm not that brave. One, two, three. Oh, I did get five for him, making sure. But he told me about the Cerely. He's like, well, I want some. So I'm back at the Cerely. I remember those and they're really good, especially when you put like the, the strawberries on top and the Cool Whip, they're really good. But I just can't see doing that right now. I might get one. I'm gonna get one because I'm not gonna sit around watching them eat it and I don't have one. Okay, so my car is filling up, but this is not all mine. But you know what? When I make this trip, we were coming here anyway, and it was only 30 minutes from the property. So it makes sense to call back and see what they need and do that. Oh my goodness, wait, are these Brussels sprouts for 99 cents? Oh dear, as much as I hate to do this, I've been close for investigation. These are completely, completely dried out. There is like no, no moisture to these whatsoever. I okay, it doesn't seem like a lot, but this cart is starting to weigh me down. So I'm going around 
this way one final trip what do they have by the case hold on one second i think these are k-cups they are donut k-cups they were 25 dollars marked down to 19.99 apparently the date is really close it is 325 so they just has date still good not bad the peanuts are still here at the little cases for six dollars or they're 25 cents each and these are fourteen dollars and 49 cents for our oh, tiny little bags let's see what their bread cost a dollar 49 for hot dog buns um i'm gonna guess the same let's see 249 but that's a much larger pack of hamburger buns um, 159 for that name brand. Oh, the English muffins. I do love these. I eat them in spells, though. I'll eat four or five and then I'm done. A dollar forty-nine, and they are so incredibly soft. Definitely cheaper than buying in an average grocery store. Um, nuts, sunflower seeds, sweet thins, toasty lunch bread. Oh, I do need crackers, guys. I'm not sure if this is a good deal or not, but they're five dollars. For 20 packs of six, not even just of the four count. I'm gonna look for a date and I'm gonna put these in my cart. I need these for days when I'm not really hungry, but I need the protein, I need to eat something. So I am heading out and I'll show you all the receipts when I'm done. To do this inside because outside is kind of noisy, but it's so gorgeous out there. Okay, so everything I purchased came to $78.91 after tax, and that was quite a bit. I did add three boxes of cereal just because my daughter is in school and that will last and those are huge boxes and you saw everything that I purchased. So mine was $78.91. Now this one did shock me a little bit because you nickel and dime and you didn't realize how much you're actually spending. He's the one that got the flat of olives for a dollar each. He also got the five cheesecakes, five of the veggie pizzas and three, I think, huge boxes of cereal. And I had to end up putting one of his cereals on mine because I forgot to add it up there, but $34.07. For everything that he got, I mean, the cereal alone should have been like $15. So amazing, amazing deal. And my mom, she stuck with what she knew and she just got the Sara Lee pound cakes, which are absolutely amazing. Oh yeah, I did add one of those to my cart at the very end. I forgot about that. So this is our shopping cart guys from the UGO. If you have one, please check it out. There are several in different locations. Just because you have the money to pay for something doesn't mean you have to pay for it at a Walmart or a Publix or a Sam's Club. If you can find it at discount, find it at discount. Okay guys, so that is everything all nicely way over there and tucked in way down here. And we are so good. So until next time guys, be happy, be healthy. Most importantly, stay safe.